Well, by now everyone knows that the coronavirus has mutated into the Omicron variant. And it's really affecting everyone out there. And more to the point, it's affecting the thing I use to escape the nightmare that we have in this world, sports. By now, you probably have heard that NFL games have been rescheduled or canceled. By now, you probably have heard that the NHL, the National Hockey League, is not sending players from the United States, Canada, and elsewhere to play in the Winter Olympics in next year in 2022. But now I've just received information that the college football playoff, the two biggest, the three biggest games of the year in college football are on a very dangerous tightrope, thanks to the coronavirus. Now, what I'm about to read to you is from the USA Today when they announced it, when the college football playoff committee announced it. Due to COVID-19, there is a chance that this year's national champion could be crowned by default or not at all. The college football playoff announced this COVID-19 policies on Wednesday, and in any of the teams involved this year, in this year's playoffs, have COVID issues, things could get a little wild. Basically, if a team is unable to play a semifinal game, they forfeit. If both teams aren't able to play in the same semifinal game, they forfeit. Both teams forfeit, and the other their semifinal game becomes the de facto national championship game. If three teams are unable to play in the national semifinal game, then the lone remaining team will be crowned the national champion by default. There is even a chance that no national champion is named this season at all. Now, of course, they're talking about the college football playoff national semifinal games, the Orange Bowl between number three, Georgia, and number two, Michigan, and the Cotton Bowl Classic with number four, Cincinnati, and number one, Alabama. Now, I'm about to read to you the full policy of all of this. Now, it's going to get a little crazy, so just bear with me. Scenario number one. The college football playoff, bowl game, and ESPN shall attempt to identify an alternate date for the game within one week of the scheduled date. If no date can be identified, the game will be considered no contest. Now, in layman's terms, both the games for the college football playoff, the Cotton Bowl and the Orange Bowl, are scheduled on Friday, December 31st, New Year's Eve. Now, that would mean they have to find a way to reschedule by at least he's one week. That gives them at least till January 6th or 7th to reschedule the game, the two games. If they can't, there'll be no playoff. Scenario two. If one team is unavailable to play in either one of these games... The unavailable team should forfeit and its opponent will advance the national championship game. Which means if Georgia forfeits, Michigan will make it go to Indianapolis for the national title game by default. Oh, just by, just by way of example. Scenario three. Playoff semifinals. If both teams are unable to play in one semifinal game, the semifinal game will be declared no contest, and the team winning the other semifinal game will be declared the national champion. So, in layman's terms, if, say, the Cotton Bowl, if both teams, Cincinnati and Alabama, are unable to play, the Orange Bowl will be declared the national championship game. And whoever wins that between Georgia and Michigan will be declared national champions. Scenario four. If three teams are unable to play, the semifinal game in which two teams are unable to play will be declared no contest. In the other semifinal game, the team unable to play will forfeit 
and its opponent will be declared the national champion. So in layman's terms, if Georgia, Michigan, and Cincinnati cannot play in their semifinal games, that would leave the number one team, Alabama, becoming the national champions by default. And scenario five, the nightmare scenario. If the team's unavailability is determined after the playoff semifinals have been conducted, the national championship game in Indianapolis may be rescheduled no later than Friday the 14th. Now, that pretty much means that if they, that if both teams played, they're, if the semifinals have been played and nobody, and these guys can't play because of COVID issues, the game can be rescheduled. All right. The second adverse scenario is if one team is available to play and the other is not, and the game cannot be rescheduled or is rescheduled and can't be played, then the team unable to play shall forfeit the game and the other team shall be declared the national champion. So in layman's terms, let's say both semifinal games are played. Georgia wins their semifinal game. Alabama wins their semifinal game and we got our national champion. In this scenario, if one, one team, Georgia, says that we can't play because, because of COVID issues, can you reschedule? They reschedule the game. And they say, we, can't, we still can't play. We don't have enough players. They can't reschedule. And that would make Alabama the de facto national champion. However, if both teams in the national championship game are unable to play on either the original date or the rescheduled date, the game will be declared no contest and there will be no national champion for this season. We knew this, something like this was going to happen when another uh, um, coronavirus variant started to spread. Other, other teams have, other leagues have canceled or rescheduled games. And we've already heard that Texas A&M is not going to play against Wake Forest as in this year's Gator Bowl. There's a possibility that one of these scenarios is going to happen. We can only hope it doesn't, but if it does, it'll probably be one for the history books in college football. In my humble opinion, if this virus, if this variant is not somehow contained, then we may not have a national championship game this year. I'll be happy if we, I get to see my Ohio State Buckeyes take on Utah at the Rose Bowl on January 1st. But I really don't know what's going to happen. I'm just hoping that this, the scenarios I've read to you from USA Today won't happen. Because it's already bad enough that this virus is reshaping the way our, wor our lives work. Now it's taking away something I really love the most. College football. Please get vaccinated. Please respect the mask mandates. Please socially distance. Please wash your hands. Do everything you can to protect yourself and everyone else around you. It's a team effort. And that is what college football is all about. Team. CTP, know the truth. God bless. Peace to the left. Justice to the right.